I'm Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got most today I've got most of my nail polish collection here and it's starting to overflow. I've got a bunch of new polishes that I have no room for. As you can see, I'm already starting to double stack and I don't like that. So I just I'm going to pull all of these polishes out of this container. This is my basket that I hope to fill up with my D-stash. And yeah, that's the plan for today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull everything out of this cubby and lay it all down so that you can check it out one sec. Okay, I'm sorry that this is sideways, but this is the best that I could fit it in the film, like from afar. Um, let me get a close-up for you so that you can see it more closely. And here is the rainbow of nail polishes that I've set out in a colorful array so that I can try to see what all I've got here. And forgive me for my janky little messy setup here on the floor with all my baskets of polishes and stuff trying to be all laid out. Um, yeah, it's hard to fit all in one screen. So I'm sorry that this is sideways, but this is the array of nail polishes <laughs> all laid out let me try to get a straight on so you can see here here's the polishes up close okay so this is what we're about to work on i can't believe that all of this right here was in this container <laughs> yeah i i definitely need to reduce the amount of polishes that i have and i'm gonna put myself on a no buy i want to use up some polishes and i'm not gonna buy any more including Indy. I've got, I've got to stop. I already feel very overwhelmed. Um, I can't imagine like some of these people that I watch on YouTube that have hundreds and hundreds of nail polishes. Oh my God. No, like, no, I would go crazy. I feel, I don't even know how many I have here. I should, I should probably count them all, <laughs> but this doesn't include any of my Indy polishes. Let me go ahead and add the two red ones that are new. Hold on. And, okay, so I just added those two and these two Deborah Lip Mint ones. So that's all of my big polishes right there. I still have a few small, like I still have a selection of minis, a small selection of minis that I've acquired this year. But I want to work on this pile first, and then I'll take a look at my minis if I need to later on in the year. But let's go ahead and get into this, this D-stash. Excited to get into this. All right, so let's start here with the blues. I have to say... Let me put the camera down so I'm not shaking it. I, <laughs> I know that I am drawn to blue nail polish. I always want to buy new blue nail polishes. Every time there's a blue nail polish, I feel like I have to have it. But like, except for this month here in January, I hardly wear blue nail polish. I sometimes wear it on 4th of July. On occasion, I will mix it into some Christmas nail polish looks like I did this last Christmas, but I don't, I don't know if I need all of these blues. I really don't. There's some of these that I don't like. Like I can tell, I can look at them just off the bat. Some of these I don't like and I wouldn't mind getting rid of them. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to start here from lightest and try to go to darkest. Here is a Mentos collab. Wow, this sticker is so old. It's gotten dirty and dingy. <laughs> this is called the Fresh Maker. <laughs> this is the Fresh Maker. This is number 698. <laughs> the Mentos X Sally Hansen collab. And this is the shade, the Fresh Maker. At the time, I really wasn't into this kind of, I don't know, gloopy thing. And I don't even eat Mentos. Oh my God, can I open them? I don't even eat Mentos candies. So I'm not sure why I felt the need to buy this. But the formula seems like it's still fine. Maybe I might get some use out of it this spring for Easter. But I really haven't worn this much at all, as you can tell. I mean, it's <laughs> pretty full. So this is going to go on the chopping block. If I don't get any use out of this over the next couple of months, it has to go. For now, I'm going to keep it. 
this is new. I got this in my recent SE haul, my how to get SE for $2 <laughs> or for super cheap or something like that. Anyway, um, I haven't tried it yet and I want to. This was in my project last year in 2022, my very first project pan ever. I really like the brightness of this shade of blue, but I really don't like the formula that much. I'm going to see if I get any more use out of this. If I end up pulling for it this summer, then it can stay. If I don't use this during this spring and summer, then it's got to go. It's going to go on the chopping block. This color here, this is a Smith & Colt. This one I bought deliberately because the one in the Lucky Bag made me think that I would like this nail polish. But then after I had two of them and realized what a pain in the butt they are to store, I don't, I don't like this. Plus the brand, the nail polish seems to chip really fast and it's pretty expensive. It's like $18. This is called Exit the Void. I think I'm... Do I have anything like this? I really don't have another shade of blue like this, but also I don't, I didn't really like the way it looked on my skin. I think this is going to get de-stashed. All right, we've got the first one going in the de-stash basket. Okay. Next, I've got this other one from the Mentos line, and this one is called Peppermint Dandy. <laughs> This blue, I don't know, It's it doesn't really look good on my skin tone. It kind of makes me look a little bit dead-like. I don't know. I just don't really like it. It brings out too much of the pink in my skin, I feel like. Anyways, I have hardly used this. I mean, like, the fill line might be to around here once it's settled after I stop shaking it around. Yeah, it's about right there. And I've had this for probably, I don't know, however many years when this collab came out. I don't, actually, I don't even think that, I don't know, this might make a fun Easter set. Will it? No, I don't think it will. I'm going to declutter both of these. I haven't used them in years. They're not really my thing. And I just need to, I need to make space for polishes that I actually love. So now we've got three in the D stash. Okay, I'm starting to feel good about this. This is pretty new. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep using that. This one here, I really like the color of it, but I don't like the formula that much. It's really thin. The brush is really... I'm not going to open all of them. Well, yeah, I'm going to open some of them. The brush is really thin, and I just... The formula takes so much to build up. This is such a pain in the butt to use. I just, I ain't got time for all that no more, okay? I used to sit there and deal with this back when I felt like that's all that was on the market with Sally Hansen. But now I, I have such an array of other colors. And although this particular color is really unique, the formula is annoying to work with. So I don't get the benefit of the unique color. Did I even tell you the color? Yeah, here. This is in 063 Make a Splash. And I mean, I do like it, the color, a lot. 063 Make a Splash in the Sally Hansen Mega Strength. It's going to get de-stashed. Formula isn't for me. Here we've got, I was about, to, I marked where I've got this down to. I was going to put this in my Project Polish this year. I haven't filmed my Project Polish yet. Um, I've only done my minis, my, my Project Polish I've done one project polish video, but I haven't done my other one yet. I have another one coming up. I was going to put this in that project polish. This is number 720, um, Sturdy Sapphire. And this is a beautiful color once you get it built up. But the problem is that it takes like four coats to build up. And I just, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, 720 Sturdy Sapphire from Sally Hansen is going to go. All right, so here I've got a really, really beautiful blue from OPI, and this is in Do You See What I See? I did enjoy using this when I made a Christmas Skittles Manny with it, so this one's going to stay. Here's another Sally Hansen that I have had for a very long time. 
I got some use out of it, but really it's because, oh, this is called number 546, Iris Illusion. The reason why this looks like I got so much use out of it is just because literally it takes that much building up to try to get any color on it, like any kind of payoff. I don't know if this was meant to be a topper or if it's meant to be as sheer as it is. Maybe so because it's an iris illusion. So I guess that's kind of like a sheer effect, but like the, it's, it's the illusion that you've got nail polish on your nails. <laughs> I ain't got patience for this. Although it's a beautiful color, like after 10 coats, I'm going to do stash. All right. And so next we've got this new one from Paparazzi. I have not even tried this yet. I heard in a video that this one takes so many coats to build up. If that's the case, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't have time for that kind of shit. I just, okay, I like one coaters, maybe two coats. If the color is really special and it builds up nicely in two but needs three to just really perfect, I can work with that. But like if I'm having to go for three minimum just for some payoff and then I feel like I still need more but I make do with three or four, I can't deal with the formula like that. I don't have time for that. And really, that's what... That's what this one is like. And this one takes like five or six coats to start looking really pretty. And I just, I don't have patience for that. If this one is like that, uh, I don't even want to find out. I, I shouldn't have bought this. I regret it. I'm going to de-stash these. Okay. Here we've got another one that's pretty brand new to my collection. I haven't even had the chance to use it yet. This is in number 685, Toned down. <laughs> That's pretty. It looks like a pretty like gray slate blue. This gives me like Pacific Ocean blue in the winter. Um kind of like grungy Washington state blue. I don't know. I'm I'm going to try this. Here's one that I recently used in my Skittles Manny, and I don't know if the formula was always like this, and that's why it's a, and that's why it's a luxe finish, or if it's gone off. But this is the shade Lavender, what? Lavish Lilac, okay? This is in the shade Lavish Lilac, number 65, by Sally Hansen in the Insta Dry Luxe Finish line. I don't like the way this looks. It looks like it's got no shine at all. I, I can't imagine that's what it was intended to look like. So I feel like this is probably just so very old and it's gone off. You can kind of see through it and I've used like about that much of it over the years. I think I wasn't really impressed with it and that's why I haven't reached for it in a long time. And although it's pretty in the bottle, this is just taking up space in my collection and I'm gonna declutter it. We're doing pretty good. Wow. I did not <laughs> I did not expect to get rid of this many nail polishes already. Okay. Here we've got a brand new one. I like it. But I recently picked this up from Target. And this is in one of those scented lines. It's the Essentials line. And this is supposed to be scented like lavender, but I don't try to smell it. I did use it and it was pretty. Um, I think it took like two, possibly three coats. Either way, it's called Low Key Lavender number 2732. And I like it. I'm going to keep it. This one is very old. It looks like it's probably gone off. It It's not even, well, no, it's still, it's still rolling around in there. You can see the fill line. This is a beautiful polish. I used this so, so much. This is beautiful in two coats. This is the old Pacifica style that they don't even make this anymore. This is the seven free. And this shade is called Tourmaline. It's so beautiful. This was my favorite nail polish for a long time. I wore it over and over and over again and I never got tired of it. <laughs> I made myself set it down and take a break only because I wasn't using any of my others. I'm keeping this. <laughs> okay, now here's one that apparently I like the color of. <laughs> because I bought two of them. I have two of this Wink of Sleep. I paid full price for both of them, apparently. That's pretty disgusting. <laughs> I feel like I don't need two of them. I'm gonna see if anybody that I know wants one, so I'm gonna de-stash one. And I don't know which one I've used and which one I haven't. 
but the one that I'm going to de-stash is the one that has the sticker that's off-center because I can't with that. I mean, like, this one's off-center too, but this one is so off-center that it's hanging up. Can you see? Yeah, I can't do that. This one's going to go. All right. This one is... This one is new. I did use this in my, sorry that my hair was in the camera. <laughs> this one I did recently use in my Skittles. Manny, I picked this up on clearance. I like it. Here's one that is an easy de-stash for me. I picked this up because I really, really am drawn to the beautiful, deep, dark, midnight blue color. It's called, oh, I didn't even tell you the name of this. Oh God, sorry, I bumped the camera. This one is called Gotta Bounce. <laughs> this is Orly's Gotta Bounce. I like this one. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry number 493 in Midnight Drive. This stained my nails so very bad, even though I had like two or possibly even three coats of top coat on. I don't like nail polishes that stain my nails like that. So this has got to go. Easy, easy de-stash for me. Wow, guys, look at all those polishes. Okay, so we're keeping nine. Nine from the blue family. And we're going to get rid of, wow, ten. Ten from the blues are going and nine are going to stay. I really cannot believe that I had that many blue nail polishes. I hardly wear blue polish. So I'm glad to be cutting that in half. I don't know. Maybe since I got rid of so many, maybe I can keep this one. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one and just see if I can make it work for a little bit longer. And if not, I'll de-stash it in the next declutter, like whenever that is next time. All right. So we're going to keep 10 and de-stash 9. There we go. Do I really, though? Do I want to do that? No. I am. I'm going to de-stash this. I'm not going to second guess myself. I already know that I don't like this. That's why I haven't reached for it again. It's going to go back in the declutter. <laughs> okay. Back to 10 being decluttered and 9 that we're keeping from the blues. I feel good about that. Okay. Let's move on to the next shade. Let's move on to the next color family. Okay. Next, we're hopping into my green polishes. And these are all of the greens that I have in my collection that aren't an indie brand or a mini. Which really isn't that many, that, that many green ones, but considering that I've only been into green polish as of this year, I've had some of these, I've had these right here for a long, long time. So like I was dipping my toe into green polish over the last couple of years, slowly, but I felt like I really dove into the green green this year because all of these are new and, and yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the greens. Let me get comfortable because I'm struggling over here laying on the ground. I'm too old for this shit. Hold on. Okay, here we go. All right. We're going to start here with the Sally Hansen Good Kind Pure in the shade 375 in Mint Refresh. <laughs> anyway, this is a very pretty pale mint green, but... I don't know. The second I put it on me, I didn't like the way it looked at all. It doesn't, it doesn't look good with my skin tone. So as much as I like the color mint, I just don't think this is for me. And I'm going to pass this one on. Here we've got one that was in my project polish. And again, I'm just not really a fan of the neons in this line. So if it's not a color that I super, super love, it's not going to be a color that I'm going to mess with this kind of an annoying formula with for. So this is in the shade Flex from the LA Girls in the gel-like shine. I like this color in theory, but I don't like it on me at all. So, I mean, I like it in a bathing suit. Like when I had a bikini in this color, it was beautiful. But for whatever reason, on my nails, it's not the same thing. So this is going to go also. Here we've got another LA Colors in the Neon Jelly. 
I thought this would be really, really fun to try. This, I don't like the super fat brush and I don't like the incredibly sheer formula. I think the fact that it's jelly should have told me that it was gonna be very sheer and I don't like being able to see my nail line after having to build up three and four goopy ass coats. So I feel like this is just not a formula that's for me. It's a little bit thicker and it's probably because it's full of glitter. It is a really pretty polish. It's just, it's just not for me, I think, as far as using it. And this is in the shade Electric Lime, which is actually really beautiful. But I'm gonna de-stash this one too. Wow, I maybe should have gotten a bigger basket. I didn't expect to get rid of so many. <laughs> Oh my God, here's another one from the Mentos. Apparently I flipped out because I didn't even know about nail polishes and collabs. I feel like this was the first one that I had ever heard of ever, the Mentos one. And I just remembered <laughs> laughing at the commercials every time they would come on. I didn't even like the, the actual like candy. But you can see this looks like it's kind of separating. I got a tiny bit of use out of it. But when I did use it, I wasn't into green polish. And actually, I feel like now I would be more into it than I was before. It is a color that goes good on my skin tone, I feel like. And I'm going to put this on the chopping block. I'm going to try this polish out. And if the formula is still good, then I'll probably keep it. But if the formula is no good, then I'm going to go ahead and have to de-stash it at that time. But for now, this one's a keeper. This one gets to stay. Here's another one from the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails line. I had a tendency to pick up these shape bottles when I when I would see them in the store, mainly because I can usually find them for like $1.99. <laughs> this is in the shade 650 Made in Jade, which is a beautiful shade name. I didn't really like the effect of the color of this nail polish on me. I don't know. I think this is the nail polish that made me realize I don't really like sheen on lighter colors up against my skin tone. And I'm sorry if you can hear my husband eating in the background. It's the weekend and I have a family. So I'm sorry for any annoying noises. Work with me here, okay? Anyhow, this looks like it would be a pretty color. And maybe if it was more of a better formula where I didn't have to build up so many layers, maybe then it wouldn't bother me so much. But this takes at least three or four coats, and I just, I don't have time for that, especially not for a color that isn't even my favorite. So this shade right here is going to get de-stashed. All right, and now we're left with, I'm sorry. Now we're left with just the polishes here that are new, and this one that I'm going to put on the chopping block. So this one here is a really beautiful green cream from Believe Beauty. I got this at the drugstore. I found this recently. I did a video about this hauling it. I'll leave that down below in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. I'm going to keep this. I wasn't a big fan of this at first. This is the Pacifica Plant Magic in the shade Mermaid Tail. And I kind of... I kind of wish they hadn't have changed their bottles. I mean, I do like this pretty square. It's beautiful, but I really liked this cap. I wish they would have kept their cap. That makes me sad. But yeah, this is my first new Pacifica bottle. Um, this color doesn't look as beautiful as you expect it to look in regular light, but when the sunshine hits it, it gives all the magical mermaid vibes that I was hoping for. This one's a winner. I'm going to keep that. This one here I picked up because um, I was getting into greens and I wanted to see. And quite honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this, but it's okay. I feel like it'd be a beautiful nail polish to wear whenever I'm like feeling super olive tones and I'm wearing like maybe a khaki green eye look. Maybe it would be pretty then. I don't know. I already have it. I'm going to keep it. But now I also have it in a mini and I'm trying to pan that mini. So I, I don't need two of these if it's not even my favorite. But I'm going to keep it for now. This one here. This one... Oh, this one here looks really pretty when you put it on, 
but mine see that my brush is like all janky i feel like somebody messed with this particular one like somebody i don't know put some nail polish remover in it or something and maybe returned it to the store i really don't know but this one's called lover boy and let me just say that this lover boy right here it let me down <laughs> this one's gonna get de stashed and last but not least for the greens, we've got this really, really beautiful deep green from Believe Beauty again. And this one is in the shade Nighted. It's a beautiful deep green cream. Did I tell you what color this one was? This one here is in the shade Crowd Surfing. So I'm keeping Crowd Surfing from Believe Beauty and Nighted. And the one that I'm getting rid of is Loverboy sounds about right lover boys are to be dropped <laughs> anyway okay so these are the two that I really really liked so now my green collection is five polishes and we decluttered and we de-stashed five so okay, hold on so we're keeping five and we're de-stashing five Let's move on to the next color family. This is my yellow, gold, and brown shade of nail polishes, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get started here with the lightest and the brightest. This is a really, really fun shade. I thought I would get a lot of joy out of this. I do actually like the way this looks on my skin tone, but I'm not a big fan of the formula. This is called Day Glow by the LA colors gel oh wait oh these are two different brands la girl and la colors it just dawned on me i thought they were the same brand and just different bottles i didn't realize they had different names i'm such a doof okay <laughs> anyways this is from the la colors gel polish line and um, yeah, this is in Day Glow, like I said. It's a really, really beautiful color, but the formula is not my favorite. Wait, is it? Have I even used it? No, I'm not even sure. I think I assumed this was that. I don't even know. I don't even think I've used this. I'm gonna keep this and put it on the chopping block and check it out this summer. Here is another one from that same brand. But this is in a glitter yellow jelly. This, this actually looks like it would be really fun as part of a yellow Skittles Manny. And because I don't have very many yellows, I am going to go ahead and keep it. And if I don't like the way it performs, it's going to be de-stashed um, de next time. Okay, here was my only yellow that I had, and I put it in my project pan. Uh, I put it in my project polish last year. I did get some use out of it. As you can see, the fill line is down to here now. So I feel like that's good. Maybe I could get some use out of this this year. I don't really like it that much on my skin tone. I feel like it's a little bit too banana yellow. It's coming off more banana yellow on screen. I like more bright sunshine yellow I don't know I'm I just picked this up this year this Christmas this is part of the wet and wild peanuts collab and this is in the shade I cannot see the name to save my life I have no idea what it's called so it's in the yellow one it's in the yellow one anyway I feel like uh, This one's a little bit brighter than this one. This one's a little bit more of like a rich, deep golden yellow. But I think I might actually like it better on me. That was my dog, sorry, he's he's behind me. <laughs> um, I think I actually might like this yellow better. I don't know what this formula is like. I do know that I like this formula, but I don't really like the color that much. I don't know what to do. I'm so torn. I don't have that many yellows. I'm going to go ahead and keep it just because I do own it. 
All right, so we didn't get rid of any in the yellows. That's a little disappointing. All right, I thought for sure I was gonna get rid of these. I'm not yet though. All right, let's go, let's move into the gold. I've got two gold polishes, one that's more champagne, and I recently picked that up in that SE clearance that I held. And then I have one from the Butter London X Barbie, part of the Pure X Barbie collab. The shade is called, the shade is called 24K. And this other one is in the shade Good As Gold, number 941. I haven't tried this one yet, so that one's gonna stay. This one I'm trying to get more use out of because I've had it for a year and I've hardly used it. But I did enjoy it during the Christmas time when I used it as part of like an ornament look. And I might find ways to use it here coming up this year. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I do have two of these. One that I have just for display and one that I wanted to try to use up. <laughs> that was probably silly of me. But I bought them in the trio. So, you know, what are you going to do? All right, surprisingly enough, I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of any from this color family, which is kind of shocking to me because I'm really new to enjoying yellows and browns and gold even. I'm, I'm pretty new to liking this whole color family right here. So I don't feel like I'm going to get rid of any of these except for, okay, let me just, let me just take you through them. Here I've got another one from Sinful Colors in that Essentials line, Essentials line, and this is in the Chamomile scent. This one's in the shade Chamomile Calm. I love this color so much. It's a really beautiful murky green with a little bit of a, like a yellow undertone. This one is one that I just recently picked up. It's called Off the Grid. I, I hauled this during the fall. I've gotten a good amount of use out of this. I really love this color. <laughs> Here's a really, really bright gold. I picked this up not that long ago as part of like my homage to some Christmas nail polishes that I might want to enjoy. This is called Not So Silent Night. I'm not sure if I really needed this, but I thought I might enjoy it, especially now that I'm getting into golds and browns. I thought it would make a really fun Skittles Manny or a topper or anything with some of these browns. So that's what I got it for, and it's not going anywhere. Here we have, I don't know how I ended up with two of the same polish. Like this is ridiculous. This is exactly why I'm going through my polishes so I can know exactly what I have. I have two of the oil slick effects filters from SE, the Essie Expressy line. I mean, it's okay, but not enough to have two. <laughs> I know one of them I've used a lot already, this one. I'm gonna keep the one that I've used and I'm gonna pass this one along to somebody else that might get some good use out of it. This one's going in the D-stash. Obviously, I'm not doing, I'm not going to get rid of my, <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to get rid of the brown, my hot chocolate shade of the Peanuts X Wet n Wild collab. This isn't going anywhere. I haven't even had a chance to use this yet. I recently picked this up like a week or two ago. I found it well after Christmas and I was so excited because I couldn't believe this was still like lingering around at one of the stores that I had hit. Now this right here is the shade that I picked up in the fall this year and this is what made me fall in love with brown polish. This beautiful cream colored brown from OPI in the shade Espresso Your Inner Self. <laughs> I love this color. It's so beautiful. It just looks like a really beautiful deep nude on my nails, like a really classy deep brown. I don't know. It's without being too dark. It's not vampy. It's just like a really beautiful deep neutral. I like it a lot. Here we've got one that I picked up not that long ago. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. This is in the shade Espresso. No, Take the Espresso. <laughs> this is Take the Espresso. Oh, there it is. This is in the shade Take the Espresso. And this is in the quick dry line. So I want to try this. This looks like a beautiful deep rich brown. All right. So essentially we de-stashed one. And out of the browns and golds and yellows, we're keeping. We're keeping 13 and we're de-stashing one. Okay, next I've got here my blacks and silvers. <laughs> It's a small, 
it's a small category right here. This is all I have in my blacks and silvers. Again, I don't, I don't particularly care for this formula. It's just too sheer and too much sheen for my preference. So I'm going to go ahead and pass, single, pass this one along. I've gotten some use out of it, but honestly, I think that came from one manicure and it took me that many coats to get like the silver opacity that you see in this bottle. This is in the shade Pumping Iron. Now, let me tell you, by the time you've put on as many coats as you need to to get the opacity that you want out of this, you feel like you've been pumping iron. <laughs> Easy D-stash. Okay, and then I've got this black, which you would think would stain since the Midnight Blue one did, but no, this is a beautiful, beautiful cream jet black, one coater and done. I love it. It's number 573 in the shade Black to Black. <laughs> It's a pretty one. I'm keeping that. And this is one that I picked up this Halloween season that just passed. This is the Kelly Marissa collab with Orly in the shade Wing It. This is a really, really fun bat glitter topper. I don't know if you can see the little bats kind of floating around there on the bottle. Can you see them? They're super cute. Anyway, um, yeah, I do have some pictures on my Instagram where I made a manicure with this. So check that out if you're interested in seeing what it looks like on me. So from the black and silvers, we de-stashed one and we're going to keep two. Oh my goodness. Next, we've got the purples. Is this berry or wine? This is berry. Okay. Here's all of my purples that aren't indies. So of the purples, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And honestly, this could go either pink or purple. I think it's probably more pink. I'm going to move this to the pink. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so we're starting off with 15 purples. Let me pull out the ones that I know for sure I don't want to keep. That's going to be this beautiful color here. Although it's fun, well, I don't know. It might be fun to use as a topper. Oh God, am I gonna get rid of any of these? This is actually not a sheer formula. So this formula is really good. This is No Hard Feelings. This is a beautiful cream color, one coater. I really enjoy it a lot. Um, I think I did not like this one. I don't remember though. I don't think I like the way this color looks on my skin tone, though. Yeah, this is just a little bit too cool tone for me. And for whatever reason, I feel like it just doesn't look good on me. Um, I don't have another shade this color, though. Okay, sorry if we changed angles. My battery was running low, but I'm back now. Um... Okay, so I do have, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna keep all of these from the top row, but here from the bottom row, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a little bit too sheer for my preference and it's got a sheen, I don't like it. I'm gonna de-stash this. Also, is this Charmed, I'm sure? No, this is Samurai Breaks a Nail. I prefer Charmed, I'm sure, and this is actually not very pretty on me. I don't know. I'm going to give it another chance. I, I, I think this one was one I didn't like. I don't like the China Glaze formula. I think this might have been even a matte, and I didn't know it. It's called That's Shore Bright. Yeah. 
actually no it was the neon green okay this is in the shade that's shore bright number one two one five it's a very pretty cream color if i remember correctly these two are kind of close but one is a little bit more grape and one is a little bit more cool tone i feel like i actually don't have any repeats as far as shades are concerned so i'm gonna i'm just gonna keep them all i'm not getting rid of any of the purples i love purple polish <laughs> I wear purple a lot. All right, here we go with my collection of nude nail polishes. I do enjoy wearing nude polish from time to time, and sometimes the tone of the nude makes a difference. <laughs> I feel like this one should probably go into the pinks. Maybe this one too. Maybe these also. Okay, here's, here's my nudes. Let me just pull out the ones that I know I don't want anymore. I actually never liked this at all. This is called Unicorn Horn. I don't know if maybe it's supposed to be a topper. It was always kind of this creamy color. I don't think I ever really liked it because of that. I'm gonna destash this one. Oh, this is a Prime and Protect. I had no idea. Wait, what was this? Yeah, this is a nail color. And this is to Prime and Protect. This isn't even, it's not even a nail polish. Oh my God. This is new from the Wet n Wild collab that I picked up this year. I rarely use white and I kind of don't really like this formula, the way it smells. I mean, I already have it though, so why go buy another one? It's not like I wear white that often. If this one ends up being a good formula, I'll de-stash this one for that one. But just in case this one is just for show, I'm going to keep this one for now. I've had this for a long time. I've hardly used it. I don't really like glitter toppers, but I don't know. I feel like I should keep it just in case. These two are new. This one I've had a while. I don't really like the color. I don't know why I picked it up. I'm going to desesh this one, even though it would be like a pretty topper for some of these. Maybe, maybe I'll keep it for this one. I just picked this up to check this out. This one I got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag last year. And I actually like this polish a lot, which is what made me buy the blue one. But the blue one was a totally different kind of formula and different performance. And I didn't like the blue one. But this one I like. It wears well and it looks really pretty. This is a pretty nude, but I hate the way this brand smells. It's so pungent. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, though, because it's a little bit of like a blush tone nude, and it's kind of pretty. Here's one that I recently picked up. It's a little bit deeper. It's got some iridescence in it. It's called lingerie. I haven't had the chance to use it yet, but I'm going to keep that. Okay, so essentially I de-stashed one right here, and I'm going to move this over into my... Well, how old is this though? This is probably like three or four years old. I don't even know if this thing still works. Prime and Protect Nourishing Undercoat. I don't think I would trust it, but I love that it's got unicorns on this. Look at that bottle. I'm going to keep it just for the bottle, but I'm going to put 
I'm going to probably keep these for nostalgia and put de stash them. All right. So we've whittled down my nudes and whites to this section here, which I'm feeling a lot better about. Okay. Next, we've got my orange, red, and deep berry section. Let's start with the oranges. Here we've got my orange section. This is brand new. I haven't even had the chance to use it. This isn't going anywhere. This was in my project polish last year. Although I love the shade, I don't like this formula. I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash this. I got this because I, I don't know, I was in a Halloween mood. Pretty sure I had never tried China Glaze at that time. I wasn't really impressed with the formula. I don't like it. And I felt like this was not, this was less Halloween and more like Reverie Orange. Not a fan. This one, again, I'm just not a fan of this shade of orange. It's a little bit too like sports cone, street cone kind of orange. It's not. I don't know, this, this glowing glimmer makes it look really pretty. Maybe I'll like this one. I'm going to keep that one and try it. I do know that this is a one coat cream from this line, and it's kind of a pretty color. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This one I picked up this year, and I've really, really enjoyed it, but I haven't worn it except for one time. This one is in the shade, did I tell you what color this is? This one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to de-stash Good Vibes Only. I'm going to de-stash China Glaze Orange Knockout. This is Essie Expressy Bolt and Be Bold. It's actually a really beautiful pumpkin fall orange. This is in the shade Mighty Mango, number 420. This is a one-coater, and I appreciate that. It's kind of pretty. All right, so from my oranges, we de-stashed. We de-stashed two, and we're keeping five. Let's move into the deep berries. Okay. Next, let's move into the deep berry wine tones. Kind of surprised I have that many because, again, I'm new to this this year. I just opened up to these super deep tones this year. I had them like one or two hanging around in my collection before, but I didn't really use them. This is a pretty color. I wore this a couple of times this fall and really enjoyed it. Same with, this is in the shade Under the Boardwalk. I really liked this one. I got this one this year also. This is in Beat It by Sally Hansen, Good Kind Pure. I feel like these two are close, although one is a little bit more purple and one is a little bit more wine. I don't like the way this one smells. This is in the shade Zip Wine. I feel like these are just too close together to keep them both. I'm gonna de-stash this one. Here's a new one that I haven't had a chance to use yet. This is in the shade Berry Naughty. Oh! I got this in a mini this year. Okay, so I have a mini and a big one. I'm gonna need to use one of those up soon. I just picked this up uh, like the other day and wore it right away just because this color was so intriguing to me. Thought it was perfect for January, like a garnet color. It's called, here on the bottom it says, here on the bottom it says Divine Divine. I don't know if that's focusing. But here at the top, it only has one divine. It says 660 divine. So I'm not sure if it's divine or divine divine, but I'm going to keep this one. 
Okay, these are the five berries that I'm going to keep. And we de-stashed one. Here are all of my reds, including my new purchases. This should have gone with the wines. This should have gone with the wines. It's like a muted wine, and I'm going to keep it. All right. Here, here I've got my reds lined up and an extra. Let me scoot it this way a little more. Here's the extra. Okay, this is a pretty formula by Butter London, part of that Barbie collab. I'm gonna keep it. I'm trying to get good use out of that. I recently picked this up. I'm not sure why. I probably shouldn't have. It's in the shade 302 Reticle Rockstar. Can't remember what I thought of this formula, so that's probably why I picked it up. Honestly, I don't see me wanting... Oh, yeah, this one. This is a beautiful shade, but I don't like the formula. It's a little bit too thin of a formula, and so is the brush. This is an 040 Class Act. I, I feel like I can de-stash this one. I recently picked this up. This is in fishnet stockings. I want to try that. Recently picked this up. This is in the classic Orly Crin, barely believe it. <laughs> it's a beautiful red. Recently picked this up because of my mini that I liked so much. I ran out and got a big one right away. I have the mini in my project polish. And then I've got this kind of like glitter topper that I am going to keep from the Peanuts Wet n Wild collab. I haven't, I did use it actually. I used it in a Christmas manicure. So from my reds, we're going to de-stash one and keep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a bonus. Okay, here is... Here's the last color category. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. Oh, this. This is a lot of pink polish. I do wear a lot of pink polish, but I don't feel like I need this much pink polish. Oh my God, okay. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. These are new, just picked these up. These are more of like in the nude pinks. Uh, let, me, let me lay these out really pretty and satisfying. Hold on, so that I can see what I've got. That's a lot of pink nail polish, okay? Even for me who loves pinks, this is a lot. Okay, I I don't need this many pinks. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these, but I am gonna pull out the ones that I know I don't want anymore. And that is this one. That one. That one. I don't like 
like this formula. This one's a little thicker though. I'm gonna keep this one. Two of the same one really old one and one new one that's funny okay I feel like I've got it narrowed down to what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of okay I'm gonna destash this nine okay I'm gonna destash I'm gonna destash this nine up here and I'm gonna keep all of these so let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is getting destashed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. And I'm gonna keep twenty seven of the pinks. All right. This is the pile of polishes that remains. That is the basket of these stashes. I'm gonna get all these polishes picked up and put away and organized. And here's the pile of these stash. Wow. Okay, let's count how many we're getting rid of. Thirty-three. Thirty-three polishes are leaving my collection. So I've got 33 polishes that are leaving my collection. That feels so good. I feel like <laughs> I don't see anything here except for this one that I like, but I already have one of these. All of these others are just things that were in my way, making it difficult for me to see the things that I do want to use. So, I mean, I kind of do like this one. I'm, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, so 32, we're gonna be stash 32. And here's the pile that's going away. Yeah, that felt so good. Thanks so much for joining me. Click thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel out so much. Subscribe to hang out with me again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.